Tower B Climb on any percent. The goal of this area is to get to the snowfield and skip the Hind D boss fight. To do this, we will need to delete the Stinger Launcher before the Otacon cutscene trigger. First, we must go to the bottom of the tower to activate the damn cutscene. From here, we will do the weapon glitch. The weapon glitch is how we will delete the Stinger. Lay down the C4 at the corner, then go past the corner of the rail. Go prone, then blow up the C4. After about a second or less, unequip or equip your card or ration, and hold triangle. Spam any button and directions. When Snake stands up, hold R2 and switch to the Stinger. This C4 method is easy, but requires an unnecessary pickup. It is best to do the glitch with grenades. Once the damn cutscene is over and Snake begins to move, begin cooking the grenade. D-pad simplifies this. Throw along the right wall to minimize damage. When Snake begins to turn, go prone. Sometimes you won't get the weapon glitch. That's okay. There's a backup method. When Snake turns or just before, begin cooking a grenade. Throw along the right wall to minimize damage. When Snake begins to turn, go prone. Now that we have done the weapon glitch, we must cook the stinger, which is really a chaff grenade. We want it to explode before crossing the Otacon cutscene trigger. If we do not skip the cutscene trigger, the run is over. You'll be able to tell visually that you are coming to that floor. Try cooking the grenade before or just as you turn the corner. Do not go past a certain great line or else the run is over. Here is a screenshot which shows the cutscene trigger line. Here is a demonstration of cooking the grenade too late and causing the Otacon cutscene. We want to explode the chaff about a second before crossing the trigger. That way we can avoid the first turret's bullets. If you do not hold R2 after the chaff explodes, you'll go into the Stinger FPV, which loses time. Be careful, there is an invisible stack of boxes by the stairs, so run around them. Here is the Otacon cutscene skip with D-pad movement. After the first turret, you can decide to go safely or risky. Throw a chaff every two flights to disable the turrets. Be careful not to lose focus and forget to throw a chaff. Get to the top of the tower and climb the ladder. When you get to the roof, turn around and climb back down. The risky approach throws a chaff late enough that you can get past two sets of turrets. Throw as you begin climbing the flight before the turrets. You'll know your timing is good if you hear the turrets spot you. With good movement, you will hopefully avoid getting shot by the second set of turrets, but luck must be on your side. They can shoot Snake as they reset to neutral. Doing this saves a chaff, which is useful. To learn how to go down the tower, watch the next video.